There we go. Got it working now. All right. So. Um. Yeah. I'm just, I'm just gonna get some. I don't really know what I feel like right now, though. Um. Some, some water, I suppose. So this is why I don't like shopping. Any anything is possible. I could choose anything, and that could be the thing that I do. Um. Arizona, Mountain Dew, this is too much, I just need water, so we're just going with that, um, you know, now there's choices, there's choices for water, Propel, Smart Water, Flavored Water, Lemon Lime, Flavored Water. Um, that type of drinking water, it's always got sort of a weird chalky, it's just odd. I know you think it's just water, obviously, but there's something about it. Maybe it's the plastic that imparts some flavor onto it. Um, we will go with... Looks like a lot of people are buying the smart water. Let's try that. A dollar twenty-five. I glacier dollar a dollar twenty-five. What is this? Dollar twenty-five. Oh, other side, huh? You know, I never had a, a device like a cell phone or a smartphone or anything to, to use. And I always felt it weird when I saw other people using them, walking around, you know. Rather than humans walking around together, they're in two different locations talking to each other. And it's a little, a little odd. But. I know, my kids won't walk down the street without them talking yeah. on their phone. Yeah. 602. Always in communication with somebody somewhere else. <laughs> I'm uh, working on a little video <laughs> right now, and it's just run. Uh, just a little documentation. How much were those balls of tea? A dollar. Oh, that's good. Um, yeah, just out walking. There was a gentleman fishing out on the break wall. How's the waves? Are they coming in bad or not? Yeah, not too bad. Uh, given, given how windy it is, the waves aren't Surprise. too bad. Because usually when, before we get this, it starts. Yeah. Um, Should be asking. It's, it's, it's pretty calm. Um, I think it's because we're not, we're not getting a lot of heat. Maybe because it's so cold. Wind's coming from a different direction than usual this time That's of year. Good. Come from south. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. You have a good evening. You too. Take care. Uh, all right. So I got my water. I bought three bouncy balls and some sidewalk chalk. So now I have to go somewhere. Sorry, there's seagulls in the way. <coughs> uh oh. I was just thinking about my my card. I like laundromats. Laundromats are good, like communal gathering places. There's a little sort of alley. And that's that's kind of what I, I wanted to do when I was uh, waking up. Now this is just odd. Oh, it's probably not odd, but I was like, there's a tractor inside here. And they're digging up all sorts of stuff. There's sand right below the ground. 
This is actually really interesting to know what it's like. Like below the ground. Whatever the store is going to wind up being. You know, if people walk through here. A lot of time, like when I was walking through the Dollar store there, this was not on my mind. Whether there was a basement or, you know, what was going on. I don't know how good this whole video will turn out, but it's interesting. 145A State Street. I don't know. I don't know what's going in here. Or, or what it used to be. There's no signs outside. No signs at all. I guess they just they just put the signs up on top of them, rather than anywhere else. Hmm. Hello. Nice day for a walk. Yeah. You gonna try and put something in there again? Uh, I don't know. I'm just I'm just walking myself and I just happened to see this and figured it was interesting. I hope I hope something goes in here. I'd like to see all of these filled. Yeah. You know, more activity down here to be good. Yeah, I'm sure. Uh yeah. Eventually people will come in here though. can get up in there. Uh, raiders can get up in there. That's that's just a gap right there. Private property, no trespassing. Like you needed to say that. Honestly, if I was, if this was 20 years ago, 16, no, I'll say uh, 25 years ago, 25 years ago, I'd have come here in the middle of the night You know, I don't know how firmly this board is on here, but I would have tested it out and I would have found a way in there. Only because when when are you ever going to get to see that? When, as a kid especially, you know, adults won't just let you walk around in uh, in their business. Like, when they're, you know, not in their business business, but I think you know what I'm trying to say. Uh, looks like something is happening here. I don't know what day it is. I'm, I'm going to walk into the city hall. I think, I think there might be a city council meeting. But I'm just going to. I'm going to test and see. We'll see if I can just walk in. It might be like invitation only. So I might have to stop talking. I'm going to be quiet and respectful. We'll see. I'll just keep the camera going. I don't know if this is a city council meeting or not.
it all exists. It's there. It's totally voluntary. If nobody does it, so be it. But I wanted to at least get the word out. Uh, you know, you can just put it out there. People can go to the internet site. to mention that if the press or anybody wants any of these forms, I have some extras up here if you can get them after the meeting. The consent agenda this evening, A is bills to be allowed in the amount of four hundred and sixty two thousand three hundred and forty dollars and thirty four cents. B is the receipt and file of two thousand fourteen city treasurer's tax rule collection report. We approve the consent agenda as presented. Okay. Yes. Yes. Mellon? Yes. Sexton? Yes. Waldorf? Yes. Johnson? Yes. Presentation of an announcement at a proclamation this evening for Arbor Day. Whereas in 1872, Ruth Erwin Morton proposed to the Nebraska Board of Arts Agriculture that a special day be set aside for the planting of trees. Whereas this holiday called Arbor Day is first observed with the planting of more than a million trees in Nebraska, and whereas Arbor Day is now observed throughout the nation and the world, and whereas trees can reduce the erosion of our precious topsoil by wind and water, cut heating and cooling costs, moderate temperature, clean air, produce life giving oxygen, and provide habitat for wildlife, and whereas trees are renewable, reach resource giving us paper, wood for our homes, fuel for our fires, and countless our wood products. And whereas trees in our city increase property values, enhance the economic vitality of business areas, and beautify our community. And whereas trees, wherever they are planted, are a choice, source of joy and spiritual renewal. Now, therefore, I, Matthew J. Wallawara, by the virtue of authority vested in me,
currently, if there's only one gas station that remains at the intersection, and the MDEQ requires that property owners with known contamination either remove the contamination, or if it cannot be removed, removed they take steps to prevent the contamination from coming into contact with humans. In this instance, because of the multiple potential sources of contamination and the difficulty of any, of any cleanup operation, restricting the public contact to the groundwater will satisfy the MD, MDEQ requirements for this area and effectively prevent human contact. In addition to the proposed zone, the adoption of the ordinance would allow for other applicants to apply uh, for new zones to be created if other contamination issues are discovered. Uh, the proposed ordinance sets up an application process and guidelines as well as uh, requirements that any future app, um, for any future applicants. Uh, the proposed ordinance would establish an application fee and also require that the ap applicants pay uh, the cost of the connection of connection of any existing water well to the municipal water service. So if a resident in the proposed zone does have an existing irrigation well, the applicant would be required to pay for any cost to install the irrigation line um, to the municipal service and the cost and the cost to cap the existing well. As these contamination issues are faced by many communities, both in Michigan and beyond, there are a number of communities that have had similar ordinances, including Muskegon, Grand, Rap Grand Haven, Grand Rapids, Traverse City, and many more. Uh, passing this ordinance does not clean up the contamination, but it does limit exposure to the contamination and increases public safety. The applicant in this case, and the, and the reason for the creation of the proposed ordinance, is Edward Holmont on behalf of Holmont Oil, who owned the Admiral Gas Station located at 906 West Washington. Um, they have utilized the services of Rich Greggy with Environmental Asbestos Services, Incorporated, uh, who works with city staff to draft the ordinance and further explain the technical quality. This is a little dry, so I'm going to walk out pretty soon. We're not getting bored. So we're looking at the intersection of Washington and Ripley, and anything within the red box that has been included <coughs> has received notice, and in fact, uh, Rich Greggy has noted that he has talked to probably a new percent between the owners and the tenants regarding this. People should go to their city council meetings more often. <laughs> Um, basically, um, what happens here is there is an open case from the MDEQ and they want to they get this closed. Um, they're actively pursuing it. There are other areas in the city um, with contamination issues um, that could potentially be utilizing this in the future. Um, the way this is I'll have to see if I can get an agenda before I leave. Probably some downstairs. Extremely low. The residential property even behind it has 
required for low concentrations. Um, otherwise, they won't be able to do this uh, if they exceeded other exposure factors like indoor air or anything like that. It's just the drinking water factor that we're looking at. Um, actually, Mr. Uh, uh, Dr. Uh, your property probably does not even have any, but it's in that, that buffer zone that we utilized when they were doing the intersection uh, of Washington and Ripley there. We did a number of wells and pretty much the examination started feeding in all of the different wells uh, <coughs> that intersection. Uh, but we did put a buffer zone because uh, even from a medicine shop property, we weren't allowed on to that property to be fully investigated, so we have to have a few Just to give some background, we, we basically do have a site in the city that's restricted on it and it's not done through this process, and that is the old Oxbow Park, which was a, is now Oxbow Village off of Pinecrest. That's a 40 acre site, was a former dump. And, uh, and when the, uh, the landfill, or whatever you want to call it, uh, but when the DEQ worked with us and did a lot of environmental uh, investigation on that property, in the end, what, what this is always it was always that interesting when no you're well interested in this sort of thing, but established or, or constructed on that right now I want to talk about other things. Uh, we also had they did not allow us to take any of our. I didn't even uh, know this was the day that the city council meetings were going. Maybe somewhere I did. Through, uh, into what was the old landfill. They wanted that removed, and so we did get a grant through the uh, 